So guys, I've spent 60,000 rupees just to impress you and here's what I'm talking about. So, Humane launched the AI pen recently and I was thoroughly impressed with it because of the kind of capabilities it has. So firstly, it has a holographic projection on your hand that tells you the time. It has object identification and not only that, it can also read out messages to you aloud. So this is something that really impresses me because it makes me feel like we can all turn into Iron Man eventually. So the reason I wanted to pick this up is so I could do a live unboxing and show you guys the features of how it really works or how the object identification works, how far you need to be etc. Alright, so now we're just going to see how far away the package is and wait, hold on one second. Guys, I think someone might be interested in my app. So a while ago, I created a translation app and I was looking for investors and I think I finally got one. I think this might be the one. Wait, one. We saw your video. We really liked your app idea. We want to have, we want to progress this conversation. Woohoo! Finally, 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 this is a godsend. Okay, fine, wait. All right, so there's a number over here. I'd be stupid if I don't reach out. So let me just shoot them a text message. Hi, this is Khalish Berlin, founder of Translation App. I understand you want to have a conversation. Okay, it's only a matter of time before I'm a millionaire now. He's read the message. A few moments later. You, it's all your fault. It's all your freaking fault. Oh, if only this was real, man. <laughs> you know what? This is the first time that this has happened and I'm going to make sure that this is the last time this is ever going to happen. It's not every day that an investor reaches out to you. It's not every day that someone wants to put money into you. And if I'm a founder, then I need to make sure I don't miss out on these kind of emails. But you can't even blame me. I have emails in my inbox from Nigerian princes. I have people telling me to sell my car when I don't even have a car. I have discounts on kids' clothes when I don't even have kids. So how am I supposed to find an important email and all this junk? It has to be a way. It has to be a way. So guys, I think I might have found a solution. I've come across this article by Zapier, which is a tool that connects different apps together. So apparently what I can do with this is I can create an email summarizer. So at the end of the day, I can have a summary of my emails. And it says that all I need for this is email ID, an OpenAI API key, and a Zapier account. So if it's that simple, let's get started. Okay, it might sound a little easy, but I still don't know how to put it together. So let's see. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> there's a template. So I just need to follow this and then, yeah, that's as simple as that. Okay, so considering I'm using a template, I don't have to do a lot. Like a lot of the stuff is already ready. I just need to connect my Gmail and my open AI accounts and test to see if Zap's running properly. That's it. And if you're someone who misses your important emails, then I'm going to put this link in the description just for you. So first, I'll connect my Gmail and click on continue. In the label field, I have to select inbox and click continue. Okay. Now I'm going to test this trigger. So the trigger basically verifies if the setup has been done properly. And in this case, it's fine. So yeah, I'll click on continue. Now we need to make sure that the data we're sending to ChatGPT is not extremely long. So we'll put a cap of about 6,000 characters, I'm thinking. Oh, which was already done and it's already available in the template. Okay, so now I'll have to connect my open AI account here. I'll paste the API key I curated for this app and click on continue. Okay, we're sorted. The template is ready. It has the prompt and everything. I'll just have to replace the bracketed content with the output variable from the formatter step by selecting output from the insert data dropdown. I'll leave everything else as is and I'll click on continue. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on test step to make sure that the summary looks okay. Okay, so we're on to the next step now. Now we need to set up Digest by Zapier, where you can enter the title, the frequency and the time of the summaries, whether you want summaries to come on the weekends, yada, 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 etc, etc. You basically get it. Okay, and finally, I'll set up an action step that'll send me the summary every day via email, because God knows when these founders and investors are going to be reaching out to me. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so um, you can use Slack also which is an app used in the template, but I prefer getting the daily updates on my email itself. Okay, so let's test this whole thing one last time and send the summary to my email ID and make sure everything is working properly. Okay, yep, that's it. We're all set. And now every day I will be getting a summary at the end of the day with all of the important emails. So there you have it, peasants. Now I just have to wait for all these investors to reach out to me and send across as much money as possible. And yeah, so let's go through today's summary and see how it's going. What the hell, my landlord's kicking me out of my house. You, it's all your fault. It's all your freaking fault. I 